Wait a moment. This isn't a furry visual novel. Hey guys and gals, Nary here from Drake Wing Gaming, and subbing me on Twitter, the gaming dragon. Today I'm coming back at you another Let's Play episode of Tennis Ace, June's Path. So y'all, before we jump into it, I just wanted to let y'all know that our Patreon is now up for as little as five dollars. Y'all can help support the channel and get exclusive rewards like permanent access to our community Discord server and up and future access to our upcoming Not Safe for Work videos. All that for as little as five dollars. Anyway, y'all, let's go ahead and jump right in. Alarm Chan, you are up, and let's go. All right. June, darling, you have a visitor. A visitor? Yuichi san. Hey, uh, what are you doing here? What? Can I want to check up on a friend? You can, but that's the kind of thing you'd usually warn people about beforehand. Sorry, am I getting in the way of something? No, no, of course not. I'm just surprised you dropped by, that's all. Ah, I see. Are you all right? Huh? Oh, of course. Uh, of course I'm all right. Why do you ask? I guess I just got a feeling. A feeling? Yeah, but with you showing up all of a sudden and looking a bit down, I just got the feeling that something was up. He really is more perceptive than I give him credit for. It's alright, you don't have to worry about me. If you say so. Well, since you're already here, why don't we sit down and have a chat for a bit? Huh? What's that plastic bag you've got with you? Oh, right. Uh, here, I, I bought these for you. It's some of your favorite sweets and a few savory snacks. Oh, I see. You brought You bought me more stuff. What's with that face that says you don't like what you see? No, it's not that. It's just, you've been doing so much for me lately. It makes me feel guilty. Guilty? Why would it make you feel guilty? I mean, I can't really do anything for you in return, right? I don't really have any money to spare, so I can't buy you your favorite snacks, or give you a present like that keychain. Even if it's something cheap, I still can't do it. Who says you have to give me anything in return? Huh? I'm just doing this because I want to. Don't think too much about it. Heh, <laughs> Witchy said you're kind of cute when you're embarrassed. Just shut up and take the bag already. Okay. Ooh, cheese crackers. Oh, yeah, I just picked them up at the grocery store on a whim. You like them? Yeah, I love cheese almost as much as I love sweets. That's great, then. June puts the bag on top of his desk, tucking it away into a corner. You're not going to eat it? Not while I have a guest over. That'd be impolite. I never took you for the kind of person, my kind of person to worry about politeness. Seriously, what kind of person do you take me for? An adorable airhead with questionable common sense? Wait, did I just call another guy adorable? N never mind. You just thought of something bad, didn't you? What? No way! Well, never mind that. Uh, what would you like to do? Click to switch gears as always. I swear, sometimes the things he says aren't, aren't good for my heart. Uh, let me recompose myself for a bit. Huh? Recompose yourself? What do you mean? Not everyone is as quick to switch gears like you, you know. Switch gears? He's hopeless, and I don't know why I'm surprised. Uh, by the way, what have you been doing for the past few days that you've been cooped up here? Well, I haven't been allowed to touch the piano, so I've just... Wait, you can't play the piano? Why? What would be the problem with that? Oh, um, uh, I guess they just don't want me to move around too much. He's a terrible liar. But the question is, even if I know he's lying, should I let him know that I know? There's no telling how he might react if I ask for clarification. Hmm, let's see. Press further. I hope this doesn't blow up in my face. Jun Kun? Kun, why are you calling me like that? You're a terrible liar, you know. A liar? Just just now you couldn't even look me in the eye. Not only that, you were completely at a loss for what to say. It sounded like you were trying to come up with an excuse on the spot. No, that's not Come on, is it really something you can't tell me? I thought we were friends. Come on, don't say that. We are friends, it's just... I feel like a major tool for pulling out the friend card at a time like this, but if I'm going to push him for information, then I might as well go all the way. June, sorry, I'm going to be merciless for a bit. Fine, I'll tell you. Stop looking at me like that. It worked? My parents are afraid it could happen again. Happen again? You mean the accident as before? Isn't that a little unrealistic? Yeah, you're totally right. Still not totally convinced. I feel like he's still hiding something. Does this have anything to do with, the, with the, what Akuta Gawa said? Just the look on his face, I can already tell that I shouldn't say anything further. He already looks pretty overwhelmed as is. I'll, I'll let it go for now. I don't want to pile stress onto him while I'm supposed to be recovering from an injury. I see. Sorry to have pushed you. I think I've completely... Ah, uh, yeah. Let's go back. Loading. Yep. Okay. Let it go. No. As much as I want to know what's going on, I also remember how angry he can get when pushed. Shuichi said it himself. I shouldn't pry too much. 
<sighs> Being reasonable sucks. Well, I guess that's kind of a valid reason. It really isn't. Yeah, it's a bit unreasonable, isn't it? If you haven't been able to play the piano, what have you been up to recently? It's like an L. Water time. Oh, that's good. Got me some blackberry lemonade sparkling water. If you haven't been able to play the piano, what have you been up to recently? Mostly just playing games and doing some light reading. The Sora can actually loan me a couple more games before I got discharged from the hospital, so I have at least had something to do. Other than that, Ayako-sen has been dropping by some notes and the homework I need to do to keep up with our classes. Huh? What's with that surprise look on your face? No, it's nothing. I totally forgot to take notes for him. <sighs> that's, some that's something I could have been doing to help. Sorry. Huh? What for? Being an idiot. Never mind that. But what kind of games have you been playing? Well, Sorokan brought me a lot of stuff to play with. Other than the occasional sports title, it was mostly fantasy games and RPGs. Oh, that's right up your alley then. Yep. I've only tried two so far because, well, RPGs aren't the kind of game you can clear that quickly. Still, I've been having a lot of fun. Any titles I might know? Well, they're both games for the Ninmax 2S Portable. Do you have it? Oh, no, I went with Sinben's PBS when I picked the latest generation of portables. Isn't it cross-platform compatible? These two aren't. Well, bummer, I guess. Still, I'm glad you at least had some, at least you've at least been having fun. Thank you. Oh, I just remembered. Shuichi asked me to say hi to you. Is that so? How is Shuichi-san doing? Uh, a bit stressed from working on the school festival, but otherwise pretty okay. We actually got together this morning and went to a cafe. Ooh, sounds... Ooh, excuse me. Ooh, sounds fun. I wish I could have been there. Wait, if Shuichi-san was with you, then why didn't he come over too? He had other things he needed to get done. If I remember correctly, he said he needed to go grocery shopping to pick up the things his father likes. Oh, yeah, I did. he did mention his dad was coming back home. He even asked for my help organizing a, organizing a whole, uh, organizing a welcome home party, but that idea was a total bust. How come? I couldn't convince him not to cook. Uh oh Those poor guests. They never even saw it coming. Let us not speak further of the dead. There's nothing we can do to bring them back. witchy san I know you're kidding, but you're kind of scaring me. Is that so? Sorry, I guess I got too into the joke. Still, I imagine that party can't have been pleasant. I'm still surprised Takahiko said I didn't yell at him or anything. I guess the shock was too great. And he just doesn't want to hurt Shuichi's feelings. Shuichi gave an entire room full of people food poisoning. Pretty sure it was past the point of caring about feelings. Huh! It's a good thing Shuichi's sister showed up. She managed to get him out of the house before the disaster rolled out so he didn't get to see it. Wait, so Shuichi said doesn't know what happened? No, Hitoka sent him shopping for last minute preparations and all the guests left before he got back. She didn't threaten me, so I wouldn't tell Shuichi. I'm not sure if I should call him lucky or not. He's lucky. It's the people eating his food that aren't. Right. Did I miss anything else for these days I've been absent? What about Keisuke-san or Mizuguchi-san? There's not much to tell. Saya has been taking more shifts than usual to save up for a new phone. As for Keisuke, all I know is that he's spending more time with that band he joined. Since there are no tennis club practices for a while yet, I haven't been able- I haven't seen much of him. That's kinda sad. We're not his only friends, after all. Plus, we want to avoid scheduling any group hangouts until you're back on your feet and can come with us. What? I- I really appreciate the thought- I appreciate the thought, but you guys don't have to stop having fun just because I'm not around. Don't be ridiculous. How many times do I have to tell you you're a member of this group? The fun isn't having everyone hanging out together. Heh, <laughs> so now he's blushing? It's like someone is happy to hear that. I didn't say anything. You didn't have to. One look at your face was enough to tell me what you're feeling. Am I that obvious? To say you wear your emotions on your sleeve would be an understatement. Gah! Not a bad thing. You're easy to talk to because of it. Really? Of course! It also makes teasing you a lot more fun, but, you know, I'm not going to bring that up. But, you know, water time. Really makes what that guy said sound really strange when I think about it. What guy? Oh, um, uh, nothing. I'm just thinking out loud. Wait, why am I even hiding this? What would be the harm in telling him we met Akutagawa, Akutagawa anyway? Well, actually, Shuichi and I met someone at the cafe and he kind of told us about your past. What? Uh, who? What did he say? Shinji Akutagawa, that lying guy from your competition. What? Really? Yeah, he told us he used to be reality, really withdrawn as a kid. So much so he didn't even think he had friends at all. I just thought that the description really didn't sound like you. 
It's kind of true. Really? Yeah, at least where the competitions were concerned, I never really talked to the other kids. I used to be really competitive when I was a kid, so I refused to mingle with the competition. Pretty petty, huh? I would have never guessed. Everyone has a past, after all. Plus, it's been over seven years since that time, and I was a, since that time, and I was a kid. Of course, I matured a lot since then. You did? Why do you sound so surprised? Me? Surprised? You must be imagining things. Crap! I just blurted out what came to my mind without thinking. Well, the important thing is that you're a different person now, and you can get along with the other competitors now, right? I'm not letting that little comment go that easily. Ah! I think I'm in need of rescuing just about now. Letting what go? I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah! Stop glaring at me like that. I got the message. S sorry. June, sweetie. I'm coming in. Saved by the gong. Or in this case, June's mother. Do you boys want to have a snack? I bake some cookies. Mom, you don't need to fret so much just because there's someone over. Oh, don't be such a stick in the mud. You have so few friends, of course I'm going to treat them with the utmost care. Ugh! Thanks for the vote of confidence. Um, cookies sound great, Kobayashi-san. Please don't leave me alone with him until he forgets what just happened. Of course it sounds great. It's cookies. Why don't you boys come to the living room and I'll bring them to you? Sure. I have to admit, I never thought your mom would be the stereotype I made cookies for you kids type. She just likes playing host to other people. We used to have visitors and dinner parties all the time when I was younger. You don't anymore? Not since mom started working two jobs. With dad picking up more shifts and mom having to get a second job, they barely have any free time anymore. She just took a week she just took a week off to keep an eye on me. Why do your parents need to work so much? Do you guys have that many expenses? That's I really shouldn't be talking about my parents' financial situation. Sorry. Something's weird here. I can't imagine a small family like this living in a small house could accrue enough expenses to warrant that much work. My mom might have a better than average job, but she's still capable of supporting Aki and me without working herself to death. Well, she still her, she still works herself to death, but that's because she likes her job. She could also take things easy, and she would still earn enough to earn enough to support us. Isn't your father a cop? I thought cops make good money. Like I said, I shouldn't be talking about their money situation. And besides that, my dad is just a low-ranking patrolman. The pay isn't all that great. Wait, how did you know my dad was a cop? He was wearing his police cap the first time I came over, remember? He was? Why else would I say he was? Also, he was also wearing it when he picked you up from the hospital. Oh, right. He's not supposed to wear it outside when he's off shift, but he tends to forget it's on. How can you forget that you have a cap on? Actually, never mind. This is the Kobayashi family I'm talking about. If there's anything, if they're anything like their son, it's entirely believable. It's like, you know, water time. Yeah, there's some weird stuff going on with June's family. Well, his mom isn't that bad. Isn't doesn't seem that bad, at least. She was a little enthusiastic the last time I came here, but and she didn't strike me as being as eccentric as her son. Her husband. Either way, we should probably go outside already before Mom comes to fetch us. Trust me, you don't want to annoy her. Considering all the scary women I already have in my life, I can't even muster a look of surprise at this statement. Sometimes when I think of how Saya pretty much bosses all of us around, I start wondering whether, or, whether we're all just beta males. Ugh, that thought just sends chills down my spine. I don't want to be a bunny's little toy. We both sit down at the living room table directly across from each other. I have to admit, even though this house is small, it's very cozy. For some reason, I feel right at home here. That's not something I've ever been able to say about any any place other than my own home. By the way, Yuichi-san, you were telling me about how you ran into Okutagawa-kun before. Oh god, I thought he'd forgotten about it already. Is he still mad at me for that unfortunate comment? Yeah, I was. What about it? Did, did he say anything else? About me, I mean. Why do you ask? The one who brought up the fact that, that you bumped into him today in the first place. Of course I'm going to ask about it. I guess that's true. Man, I'm not used to seeing him looking annoyed at me. Uh... Hmm. It somehow feels ten times worse than having someone like Saya upset. Probably because I'm already used to seeing her, ups seeing her upset. We didn't really talk for long, you know. He just bumped into us while he was waiting for a table at the cafe. It was less than five minutes. He still had time to tell you about me not getting along with the other kids in that time. I suppose that's true, too. All right. Sorry it took me a while. I had some trouble getting these out of the baking tray. Did you forget to line it with parchment paper again? Oh, I didn't forget. We just ran out. Uh, not again. Again? We seem to run through rolls of parchment paper like they're candy. I suppose it's my fault. I'm always baking whenever I'm home. It helps me to relax. It's also the reason why we've gained so much weight these past few years. 
I understand that your parents might not have much time, but what's your excuse for not trying to exercise then? Well, that's... Oh, all right. I'm going to... Ooh, I'm going to pause it right there. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribing, that notification bell. Leave a super thanks for a tip if you can. It always helps. Check out that Patreon. And please check out that Patreon, y'all. Anyway, I love you all. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.